guys this is Jam Jam Online.ph and this is Jam Online TV. So this week pag-uusapan natin mga latest news sa tech and gaming. So first dito muna tayo sa Honor 10 Lite. So Honor Philippines has finally launched their newest mid-range smartphone, the Honor 10 Lite. So this one starts at 9,990 pesos. And interesting naman yung kanyang design and specification. So first of all, sa aesthetics niya, hands down, ang ganda talaga niya. We got a gradient color sa likod. Though it's made up of plastic, it's not glass. Uh, I still like the color of the smartphone. Also yung uh, ergonomics niya, the curves at the back. Also yung kanyang, I mean the front, the uh, screen to body ratio of the Honor 10, 10 Lite is really good. Inside is a Korean 710 processor which is... Just fine to me. However, it only packs a 3 gigs of RAM. It's available in 32 gigs or 64 gigs of internal storage. Medyo nalilita na ako sa 3 gigs. Sana naging 4 gigs sila at least dito sa smartphone na to. When it comes to camera, we got a 24 megapixel selfie camera. And I believe uh, it's kind of okay when I tried it during the event. However, hindi ko masasabi sa inyo kasi hindi ko, I mean, hindi ko masasabi sa inyo fully na uh, talaga maganda siya because hindi pa natin na-review yung smartphone. Only a few minutes ko lang siya nagamit. And then we got a uh, 13 plus 2 uh, megapixel rear camera. And yes, we got AI here. And natry ko naman siya. Nag-work naman yung AI niya during the event. And uh, it's not as good as uh, other uh, smartphones from Honor. Like your Honor 10 with AI. But you know, nag-work pa rin yung kanyang AI. And uh, yes, the selfie camera was just fine to me. So we got also here a 3400 mAh battery and it's running on EMUI 9.0. So yung presyo niya, uh, medyo naano lang sa presyo niya kasi 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, it starts at 9,990 pesos which is online only. And then we got the uh, 3 gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of internal storage for 10,890. Sana nandun na lang, uh, tayo naman tayo 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage. Sayang yung 3 gigs of RAM dun sa 32 gigs, sana 4 gig na rin siya kasi medyo nabibiti na ako, ako ngayon sa 3 gigs of RAM. So yeah, I guess that's it sa Honor 10 Lite. So we'll proceed dito sa isa pang smartphone. So itong smartphone na to is the Meizu Zero. So this is the future of smartphones. The Meizu Zero doesn't pack 8 port, so it's a buttonless smartphone. It's a uh, whole-less smartphone except for that microphone, microphone part, I believe. And uh, so far, ang amazing niya kasi uh, it comes with a wireless charger. It's an 18 watts wireless charger. It's really fast, pr probably the fastest wireless charger in a smartphone right now. We don't have a notch here, but we do have an in-display uh, fingerprint scanner on its 5.99 inch Super AMOLED display. You can charge this smartphone wirelessly, pero yung connection niya with your PC and other uh, devices is through wireless only. So wala kang choice kundi wireless, wireless, wireless. When it comes to buttons, it has a capacitive button sa sides. So, we don't have the full price yet, but uh, so far, the specification that we know is a Snapdragon 845, a 12 plus 20 rear camera, and a 20 megapixel selfie camera. So, dito na tayo sa pangatlong smartphone na pag-uusapan natin this week. It's the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. So, these smartphones... Uh, will be launching this February and meron tayong live photos na nakita sa internet. So, uh, na-confirm na ito yung ilang mga features na inaabangan natin sa smartphone. So, first, we got an Infinity O display. Basically, we got a whole punch display on the Galaxy S10 and with the S10 Plus, we got a dual lens selfie camera. Well, of course, it's a whole punch display pero it, it is wider because dalawa yung camera na uh, ginamit or probably a sensor dun sa Galaxy S10 Plus and it is placed at the upper right of the smartphone unlike the Galaxy A8S 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 which is exclusive I believe to China so it, it is placed at the upper left of the smartphone we don't have uh, any idea if the A8, A8S will, will arrive here in the Philippines but the Galaxy S10 I'm pretty sure darating siya dito sa Pilipinas it's their flagship smartphone so so far there are only two smartphones na, na leak na may live image there's a rumor na meron pang Galaxy S10 Lite or the S10e. So, another uh, feature na na-confirm dito sa S10 and the S10 Plus, it's the triple lens 
rear camera. So probably meron siyang uh, camera na katulad ng Galaxy A7 na merong isang wide angle lens. I love the wide angle lens when it comes to smartphones. And I hope meron nga di itong um, Galaxy S and the S10 Plus. Sana nga ito na nandito sa picture na to is... Uh, the triple lens camera of uh, the smartphone. I'm really excited for this one. This one will launch this February 20 at San Francisco, California. And the last one, finally, uh, this one is uh, exciting for some PC gamers because uh, PUBG Lite or uh, the PUBG uh, lower specs version is now available in Thailand. So it's an open. It's 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 still an open beta, and uh, it's exclusive lang sa Thailand for now. But PUBG Lite is uh, the version of PUBG for PC. Na exclusive lang sa PC. It's different from PUBG Mobile, and it requires a lower specifications. The gameplay, the mechanics is still similar. However, I believe yung mga recoil bullet drop is much similar to PUBG PC rather than PUBG Mobile. So you don't need an emulator for this one. So basically, we got PUBG Mobile Lite, PUBG Mobile, PUBG Lite, and PUBG OG or the PUBG PC, which is a uh, paid version of PUBG. So I know it's confusing na marami tayong version, but I believe PUBG Lite will compete against Ross or Rings of Elysium and other uh, games, probably Fortnite. So yeah, this one is really interesting. I really hope na darating na siya sa Pilipinas really soon kasi I believe Target ito is Southeast Asia. We got the PUBG PC Lite na Facebook page na talagang Tagalog. So yeah, I'm really excited for this one. So yeah, I guess that's it sa ating mga news this week sa Jam Online TV. So don't forget to check out our YouTube channel next week. Hopefully next tuloy-tuloy na to. So this is our first this 2019. Sana meron pa next week. So yeah. Guys, so if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button below. And of course, para updated kayo, do check out my website at jamaonline.ph and my Facebook page, facebook.com slash jamaonline.ph and also my Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash jamaonline.ph. You can check out all the links at the description below. So once again, I'm Jam of jamaonline.ph and thanks for watching our Jam Online TV, the first episode of 2019.